Hello and welcome to this very special broadcast Chandrayaan 3. The big mission of India and it's on its way to completion, a successful completion on which a billion plus hopes are riding right now. It has completed critical maneuvers already and on 23rd of August India has a date with the moon. Chandrayaan 3 which was launched on the 14th of July is set to make history when it lands on the south side of the moon in a few days from now. It's a historic moment. Now Chandrayaan 3 lander will begin its final descent to make touchdown on the moon a little after 5 p.m. on Wednesday. The landing is most crucial as that's when we fail during the Chandrayaan 2 mission. But ISRO this time has learned from its mistakes. The scientists have kept a backup for everything. They're hoping for the best and so are we. The Vikram lander module of the spacecraft carrying Pragyan rover inside successfully detached from the propulsion module on Thursday and is now inching closer to the lunar surface. Now a billion plus hopes as I said are riding on the mission to explore the dark side of the moon. As I said earlier, the southern side of the moon is the site which has not been explored so much. There are mysteries which scientists claim should be unraveled as we get closer to that side of the moon. As we talk about this historic space expedition that India has undertaken and is set to be completed very, very soon, here's a special report about the journey so far. Have a look. अभी अभी पुष्टि की गई चंद्रयान 3 को प्रमोशन की कक्षा प्राप्त कर ली गई है चंद्रयान 3 सैटेलाइट सेपरेटेड इट्स ऑफिशियली द लास्ट फेज ऑफ चंद्रयान 3's हिस्टोरिक जर्नी टू द लूनर साउथ पोल चंद्रयान 3 हैज अचीव्ड अ मेजर माइलस्टोन सक्सेसफुली द विक्रम लैंडर सक्सेसफुली सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द रेस्ट ऑफ द स्पेसक्राफ्ट एंड इट्स प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल ब्रिंगिंग इट अ स्टेप क्लोजर फॉर सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग ऑन द 23rd ऑफ अगस्त the separation of the lander represents a pinnacle moment in India's space endeavors. From here on, the lander will go on a solo journey till it can touch down on the lunar surface. The onboard instruments will be activated and validated over the next few days. The lander and rover are equipped with scientific payloads to conduct vital experiments on the moon. ISRO will conduct complex braking maneuvers of the lander. This will essentially lower Chandrayaan-3 to a 100km circular orbit and thereby bring it closer to the moon. It is from this strategic orbit that the lander is slated to initiate its final descent on the 23rd of August. The home stretch has been described by the ISRO chief as 15 minutes of terror. That's when the lander has to fire its engines at the right times and the right altitude while using just the right amount of fuel and making accurate scans of the lunar surface before finally touching down. When at the 30 km altitude, the lander begins to use its thrusters to navigate down to the surface. This is referred to as the pod braking phase. While the thrusters help in keeping the lander from crashing, the lander reorients itself to a 90 degrees for a safe landing. Then at around 100 meters altitude, the lander scans the lunar surface looking for any obstacles. If there are none, it will begin a slow descent. The thrusters will keep firing till touchdown. After landing, the Pragyan rover will be released to study the lunar surface. The six-wheeled vehicle has instruments configured with payloads to provide data related to the moon's surface. It will gather data and analyze the chemical composition of the lunar surface, the rocks and the soil. While maneuvering across the lunar terrain, the rover will perform critical in-situ chemical analysis of the lunar surface. It has a mission life of one lunar day or 14 Earth days. The journey that uh, Chandrayaan uh, as a program and Chandrayaan 3 in particular has been uh, extremely uh, uh, one that makes every Indian proud. Uh, we have certainly demonstrated to the world, ISRO has, and the whole ecosystem around ISRO in design, manufacturing, that we are amongst the leading nations in the world in terms of this type of capability. And I'm very pleased today that Chandrayaan-3 has uh, uh, completed the success, uh, separation phase successfully and I hope uh, that uh, we will soon be uh, browsing the surface of the moon. It adds to the deep technology capabilities, it adds to the confidence of our nation 
and it certainly positions India and the young Indians that uh, to be a central player in the decade of technology opportunities that are coming in front of us, the decade as the Honorable Prime Minister has branded it, that in, these, in, that, in that decade, space and space linked technologies are going to be a very important part of the technology ecosystem and that the Indian ecosystem in space and allied technologies will play a defining role there. As the nation eagerly awaits the outcome of this complex operation, the world watches with bated breath for Chandrayaan-3 to etch a new chapter in lunar exploration. With its sights set on the moon's southern territory, India is poised to go where no nation has gone before, the dark side of the moon. On the dark side of the moon that will be lit with our quest for knowledge and thirst to figure out more what exactly the southern side of the moon is really about. More importantly, what are the mysteries that lie in that part of the moon that has remained unexplored so far. Let's tell you one by one about the key things that uh, we are looking out for and more importantly how these various maneuvers done by Chandrayaan-3 are going to play a very, very important role. Well, you already know that ha happy separation has already happened. Uh, uh, the, that separation was a critical part of that entire space expedition which is all set to complete its journey on the 23rd of August. Now, we are looking at various other facets. The module is now on a separate journey and these are separate journeys both the parts are going to take. The separation of the module in the orbit was very, very important. It had to happen. And also the lander is on its most critical journey at this point in time. As the touchdown, as we look forward to that very crucial touchdown that must happen, Vikram is carrying Pragyan, which attempts the landing, which hopefully will be a very successful soft landing. This is an attempt to sell soft land on the southern side of the moon, which I said is a mystery to the space scientists and something that the entire world and the space scientists are trying to figure out. It's a series of complex maneuvers which need to be done in different gravitational situations. The speed with which uh, you know the soft landing will happen needs to be controlled with utmost precision. And as the experts have been pointing out, ISRO this time has created a backup for everything. Just in case something goes wrong, we've learned from our mistakes of Chandrayaan 2. Uh, talking more about that touchdown, the rover named Pragyan will roll off the lander uh, and this, these are crucial steps that we, that we talk as we look forward to that landing. Pragyan also explores the nearby lunar area. As for any space mission, even for this one, the clear, crucial part would be what kind of knowledge sharing, data sharing, what kind of images can be sent in to understand what exactly the southern side of the moon is really, really about. Uh, the images that will be uh, you know, gathered, they'll be sent back to Earth. Of course, they'll be sent back to ISRO. And that's how most space missions work. That's the normal trajectory. That's, that's exactly what Chandrayaan-3 is going to do. Let's move to another set of information that we present to you through these special graphics that we are putting out. The de-boosting maneuver is equally very, very important. It's a critical step before Vikram's soft landing on the, on the southern side of the moon. And it may sound very simple, but as I said, it's a series of complex maneuvers that need to be done with utmost precision to ensure that the mission is successful. Every microsecond has been planned by the space scientists to ensure that this goes right this time. The lander to slow down to enter the elliptical orbit. This is part of the deboosting maneuver. The positions lander is closer to the moon. It positions the lander closer to the moon. And going forward, the closest point to the moon will be about 30 kilometers. That's exactly the position which we are looking out for. How exactly this process was completed, what exactly Chandrayaan-3 mission was all about, the number of days it took, the kind of budget it took, more importantly, the time, the human hours and the grit and determination of the scientists who were responsible for this project to be completed is yet another non-technical aspect which is not so much spoken about. But yes, that's the most important part of the project because uh, on the success of this mission, our hopes are dependent and 
for the scientists it's the years of hard work and research that they have really done so as we said the farthest point for lander to be about 100 kilometers the closest was about 30 kilometers and lander to undergo two orbital reduction moves these are all part of the deboosting maneuver for you and me people who don't understand science or the space exploration so much all this is a learning experience to understand about the deboosting maneuver to understand about these critical steps which must be undertaken for any kind of soft landing to happen successfully let's move on let's tell you about another set of information that we have for you as we look forward to that big day and we talk about these maneuvers that need to be completed india's mission moon chandrayaan 3 how critical how important it is for all of us i don't need to reiterate that but it took a budget of over 600 crores about 615 crore rupees was spent in this on this mission by the standards of the world and the kind of budget various competitive agencies say for nasa or in russia have uh, this is not a huge budget there these are limited resources for space exploration about 42 days that's the journey and the rover's life is about 14 days and that's the distance that you can see already on your screens that's the broad data and statistics that we can present to you as far as chandrayaan 3 is concerned so the facet that i was talking about which is the human work and the human hours that have been spent to make this a reality in the next few hours in the next few minutes we'll tell you more about what exactly chandrayaan 3 mission is about how critical the next few days are going to be and what learnings have been really taken as far as chandrayaan 2 and the failure of the last critical step is concerned so the distance covered is about 3.84 lakh kilometers and the budget of about 615 crore rupees those are the broad figures that we present to you as far as chandrayaan 3 is concerned let's also bring in the experts into the discussion let's also ask the experts that these maneuvers we have tried to decode them we have tried to explain that to you um outside the technicalities what exactly do they mean but how critical and complicated this procedure really is and if we have to ensure that this procedure is completed without any problems what would it take for this mission to be completed chandrayaan 2 there were a lot of learnings from chandrayaan 2 uh the mission could not succeed the way it wanted to it failed at the last step and that learning has been taken joining us on the broadcast is dr pk ghosh a former space scientist he is with us on the broadcast he is with us in the studio um so it's a, it's a pleasure to have you in person on the broadcast today demystified for us i've spoken about a lot of technical things the deboosting maneuver the steps that need to be completed for the next few days the next few hours how critical and important they are uh, each move is very critical and important and uh, i cannot really specify that this is more important than the other uh, as you know um, the lander uh, separated from the propulsion module and that was a very crucial thing but that had been proved earlier now the entire focus is on the soft landing and um, this time there are a lot of changes and let me mention that the changes are not only in the machine or the uh, flight uh, of the spacecraft that is changes are in the mindsets the earlier times the idea of putting chandrayaan 2 was that there was we were geared for the success so we would go ahead with the experiments now the mindset is we have to show the world that look this is uh this is our capability to land on the moon on the south side of the moon hmm. so there is a change in thinking we have got an enhanced redundancy factor we have got um, plan a plan b we have made uh, uh, the entire landing process a lot more automated hmm. uh, if you remember that 15 minutes of terror which was there last time hmm. well um, I don't know if the 15 minutes of terror are going to be there because now we have allowed the lander to take its own decisions. Okay. No, And, but but what does yeah. that mean that lander takes its own decision? Yeah, exactly. Earlier, what was uh, you know why was it a terrifying thing? Partially, of course there were other things, partially that was because you couldn't control anything. Hmm. 
you had told the lander that look it was pre-fed and the lander would do certain steps or the SOPs and then go on land hmm. now the difference is that we have told the lander look you search for this area earlier it was just 500 to 500 meters yeah. now it's 2 into 4.5 uh, kilometers which is a it gives them a lot of uh, uh, wriggling loo uh, room if I may say so hmm. flexibility so it's told the lander that look you search for an area there is an alternate area you go and land hmm. now one of the main things which I think I must mention is you're showing this you know the uh, graphics of how the lander is coming vertically hmm. now one of the biggest difficulties is you can imagine it is coming at a phenomenal speed more than 6,000 I think 6,300 kilometers per hour hmm. or so into 10 into 30 kilometers and as you mentioned hmm. you know 30 kilometers it starts up. so it's coming horizontally after that it has got to change into a vertical motion it's got to land vertically it can't land horizontally right so you got to change not only the motion of the uh, lander from horizontal to vertical it's also got to land hmm. so hmm. now come back you just put your hand you see uh, how, how difficult it is to change the orientation and then it's got to land uh, now what have we done redundancy hmm. suppose if the algorithm fails for whatever reason I, I know it won't but suppose if it does there is a redundancy factor yeah so you see how much we have changed I, I, I've been told I don't know whether it's true that even if one of the legs yeah you said that before you, they have another leg <laughs> yeah, just to make another, sure uh, yeah. I don't know they have strengthened the legs to one meter per second uh, more uh, uh, you know shock that it can bear so uh, I have positive time but you've spoken about this earlier I want you to touch upon this again uh, the 15 minutes of horror or what could not go successful Tell with Chandrayaan with Chandrayaan 2 um, we we say it vaguely when we say we have a backup for everything right but there was a particular technical error that happened or could not happen as it was planned what have we done to fix that error and if I were to ask you as a layperson to explain it to me or to our viewers uh, could you break it down for us well um, firstly the entire thing was analyzed very closely um, and of course uh, not that it was disseminated but all steps were taken to ensure that that does not occur again the algorithms were checked rechecked re rechecked hmm. and they were tested and like I said there is a redundancy factor hmm. suppose if something goes wrong that is something fails I'm just taking a hypothetical right. uh, situation yes there is a backup for it so now you have a situation in which if there is earlier there were no backups we had hmm. assumed that's what I was saying we were ready for success hmm. now we are ready to see there is no failure hmm. there's a big change in thinking <laughs> so. it's a it's a change of approach it's a change of demeanor and Absolutely. perhaps the energy with which we are working towards this mission Absolutely. we're not keeping finger crossed uh, we are very confident we are very positive that this is going to be a huge and a grand success this time. Thank you, Dr. Ghosh, for sharing your perspective, for sharing your time with us here on CNN News 18. On the other side of a very quick break, we get you the key newsmakers, the key voices, not just you and me, the entire government, politicians, every person in this country is eyeing this event very, very closely and keenly. Up next, on the other side, far more voices slipping into a very short break for now.